Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Twins video. This is kind of a big one, actually. Uh, as you saw by the title, we're going to get into this seven seconds into the video. Tyler Duffy has been DFA'd, and that's kind of crazy to me. Not going to lie. Um, so we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about a couple of the other things the Twins have been doing. Um, and I just want to know your thoughts. You know, I've done a couple of these Twins Talk videos. We seem to have good discussions in the comments. So let's do that again with this video. Tyler Duffy DFA'd at age 31. So this is really crazy to me. Uh, Tyler Duffy has been with the Twins forever. And that alone means something. But if you've noticed around the MLB, if you're my age, like 20, mid-20s probably, you're starting to notice a lot of the guys in baseball that like used to be really good, like Didi Gregorius, uh, Odubel Herrera, um, all these guys, there's more, have just all of a sudden, like in the last like month, gotten DFA'd. It's crazy. Tyler Duffy is the next one on the list. And uh, I want to know, do you guys think this is a shock? Are you guys surprised by this? Um, is this what you expected? Honestly, I think it was expected. I just wasn't expecting it now. So Duffy's been with the Twins when they were bad. Back in 2015, he, he uh, made his Major League debut. Has really not ever been the guy that I think we thought he was going to be. Maybe, you know, 19, 20. Like, around there, he was pretty solid. Um, but other than that... He's been pretty bad. And we're going to go over stats and everything here in a second. But he has really declined fast. And I don't think he was ever the guy to begin with. But he's really declined fast. And I think it was probably about time they did something with him. I'm a little surprised. Like, I think Boston maybe did this the best. Maybe the Yankees even did this the best. Where they traded guys. Like, they brought in guys. And they traded guys. They were both buyers and sellers. The Twins really didn't get rid of anybody. And I'm surprised that if you're going to make these moves, you made three moves for pitchers, right? Um, some really good relievers. You know, uh, Molly is a starter. Maley starter, whatever his name is. I, I literally looked it up again before this video and I forgot. But anyway, you traded for some pitchers. You got rid of some prospects. But... It's weird that they DFA'd Joe Smith and they DFA'd Tyler Duffy when they could have just added them to some sort of trade deal and maybe gotten another piece. I don't know. Like, that's the most interesting thing to me is, like, why DFA these guys days after the trade deadline? Like, literally three days after the trade deadline when you could have just thrown them into a package deal, maybe gotten another prospect that's a long shot of some sort. Like, that, to me, just doesn't make sense. But let's talk through Tyler Duffy's stats. Uh, his career, he is a 1.7 war. So he's an above-average player, but that's surprising when you read off the rest of his stats. 19, uh, or 29 wins, 27 losses, uh, 4.57 ERA for his career. He pitched in almost 300 games. He started 37 of them. We're going to talk about that in a little bit, too. Uh, pitched 500 innings, had 466 strikeouts, and a whip of 1.3. This season, he has been a below-average player, and as you probably know if you've watched any Twins games, yeah, um, he's not great. 2-4 and four record, a 5 ERA, 2 saves on the year, 44 innings pitched, 39 strikeouts, and a whip of 1.3. Three, six, pretty identical, I would say, to his career stats. And that just kind of tells you how bad his decline is because he was good at one point. Then he kind of fell off a cliff. But this year, he's just been bad. If you don't follow Aaron Gleeman on Twitter, I highly, highly recommend it. You probably do because you're a Twins fan. Um, if you're watching this video, I would assume. But... Uh, through 100 games, the Twins have played this year, which is like 105 now or whatever, uh, through 100 games, Tyler Duffy has the third lowest win probability added at negative .95. Now, I don't know exactly how this is measured, but you look at like Buxton and Duran and Luis Arise and Polanco, those guys are all up by positive two. Um, Cotton, who was DFA'd, uh, Bundy, who's about to get his butt chopped, 
and Tyler Duffy are all negative one. So I'm understanding what it is. Like you suck is is basically what it means. Um, you don't win games. You you lose games based on your pitching. And the prime example of this was game two of this season, where the Twins had hit a go-ahead home run with Byron Buxton. I believe it was in the eighth inning. And then Tyler Duffy comes in for the eighth or the ninth or whatever it was. Maybe it was the seventh inning. And loses the game against the Mariners. So I remember that clear as day because I was there. But that kind of just indicated how this season was going to go. Uh, and if you want to look at his decline, you look at his best years of 2019, 2020-ish area. His ERA was 2.31 in that in those two seasons. You combine them, I guess, because with the short in 2020. This is also by Aaron Gleeman on Twitter, um, which is why I'm reading you these numbers. Uh, so we had a 2.31 ERA. His strikeout percentage was 34%. His OPS against was 0.56, which I guess is decent. Um, and his velocity on his fastball was 94. You skip forward. I won't go through 2021, but 2022, I already mentioned the five ERA. That's double basically what it was two years ago. His strikeout percentage, 21% compared to his 34. His OPS against 800. That is, uh... A lot of a difference between 565 and his fastball is down to 92. He's 31, and honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm not, you know, a trainer or anything. I'm not sure why his decline would be so bad over the last two years. He did start, and this is what I was going to say. He did start for a while, and he wasn't very good at it. I'm guessing it was because of the fastball or whatever uh, just wasn't, you know, good enough. But... He couldn't ever do it. And I think that was kind of the, all right, we know this is never going to be the guy because we wanted him to start. I can't remember who it was. I thought there was another guy. Um, Trevor. Trevor. Uh, what's his name? Trevor. It wasn't Trevor Bauer. I know that. There was a Trevor on our team for a while, right? And I thought he was like the same kind of guy. But like they didn't, if I'm thinking of the right guy, which I could totally not be. They they tried to be start, starters, and they never were. And that's kind of when they fell off. Duffy found it in the bullpen for just a minute or two, but I think it was just time that he was done. Here's the funny part, is he was getting paid $3.8 million. They paid him like $2 million already because of how the season's structured, right? He has over five years of service time. So when they DFA'd him, um, obviously that means he can go clear waivers and then any team can pick him up or whatever, you know, that whole process. The thing is he's worth $1.2 million left this year and he'll probably clear waivers for that reason because no team is going to want to pick up a sucky reliever for, you know, $1.2 million when he's not going to help any team, which is why I think you could have thrown him into a trade deal of some sort and gotten a, you know, a high A prospect or something. Uh, and then they take on the contract. But if he clears waivers and the Twins outright him to St. Paul, then he still gets the $1.2 million. Duffy can just opt out and be like, yeah, no thanks. Um, I'll just take the $1.2 million that you owe me, and then I will walk on my way. Good deal for him, I guess. But, uh, yeah, kind of crazy that uh, I, I think the Twins messed up on that one, uh, dropped the ball a little bit. I'm not saying they would have gotten much for him, but something would have been great. Um the final thing I want to say is Cotton and Aaron Sanchez cleared waivers, so they're probably headed back to St. Paul. I know that Joe Smith became a free agent, um, so somebody will probably pick him up, but it's just really weird. This whole situation with the Twins is, is kind of interesting to me, but I want to know, like, my thought process goes, where does he go next, right? Does he clear waivers? Or is some team going to pick him up? Because if some team picks him up, Good luck to them. <laughs> but it'll be interesting because he's not a bad pitcher. He's just had a really bad couple of years because of his decline. So he's not a good pitcher. Um, but I think we all knew this was going to happen. It's kind of interesting to see the tweet today. So that's what I got for you, YouTube, today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Let me know your thoughts down too in the comments.